Hi friends, this is Sneha from SM Creatives and today we're going to be making this greenery watercolor invitation design with gold foil text effect. Now the, diff the special thing that we're going to learn in this video is how to get this uh, glittery gold text effect on Photoshop. Now without much delay, let's start. We'll, I'm using Photoshop CC here. You can get a free trial from the link uh, that I've put in the description section. Now, first we'll go to File, New. We will change this to inches. Create a classic 5 by 7 inch design. Make sure your resolution is 300 if you're going to be printing this. Color mode RGB transparent background now let's get started first thing we're going to do is we'll pull our greenery background over here so we'll go to the uh, serene greenery clip art set you can use any other uh, background that you have i'm using a greenery watercolor background one of these backgrounds from the serene greenery kit i'm going to be using this today what you need to do is just drag and drop it and there it is press enter that sets our background then click on new layer and first we're going to add our text so we'll go to the text tool here and just click anywhere add our text you see I have the character panel open here so if I want to change the text, I can go here and you know choose whatever text I want. I already have the font that I want. So yeah, I'm using Playfair Display. I'll link to this below. It's a free font. Can I use the regular? Any bold is good enough. And then we'll select this, the move tool to just move it around and center it on our page. Now, if you don't have the character panel open already, you can always go to Windows and check this. Click on this. Then that basically brings up your character panel. As you can see, mine is already selected, which is why it's open over here. Right, so we have our text. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to insert the rose gold, rose, gold, rose gold foil texture onto this file. Now, I have a bunch of uh, textures that I have made, which are ready. This is what I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure that you already have a gold foil texture lying somewhere if you do a lot of DIY designs at home. Uh, if you don't, then uh, you know I'll link to some free textures below. Here it is, I've inserted it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to layer, create clipping mask. There it is. What that does is that it creates a clipping mask and so, you know, we can get the gold foil effect on just the text. Now you can go ahead and add all the other text that you want. Change the text to something small. You just play around till you get something you like. So anyway, now you can just go ahead and add all your custom text here, move things around, up to you. You will need to use the move tool to, you know, select a particular layer and then move it around. Now what you need to be careful of when you have a clipping mask is that you want to select. So if I move only uh, this layer, then you can see that the foil effect 
changes with it. That's because I'm not moving the foil layer along with it. So what you want to do to retain the exact same foil effect that you have here is to select both of them and move them at the same time, right? To select two layers at the same time, just with the first layer selected, just hold down your command button or control button on Windows and select the other layer. That way you get both of them and you can move them at the same time. So this is really it guys. You can add your extra text here. After this, you just need to save your design. You go to file and save. And that's it. Choose the location of your file and save it and you're done. It's really, really quick and easy and simple. All you need to do is have a gold foil texture handy or any texture really. Like I used a rose gold, rose gold foil texture here. You can use a glitter foil. You can use silver gold foil. You can use a watercolor file. You know, you can get the same effect with watercolors. So yeah, I'll actually show you how that works. So let me open this this is my greenery uh, serene greenery file it comes with a bonus splash you can just drag and drop it again you want to make sure that the texture layer is right above your uh, text layer you can keep this or you can just make it blind switch it off go there and then create. it's already created clipping mask so there you go see how we get that effect we can make it bigger to get a more pronounced watercolor effect you can see the watercolor effect so it's really the same logic you can use this clipping mask feature to get any kind of effect on your text on any layer underneath essentially so i hope this tutorial was helpful for you and if you have any doubts please leave them in the comment section and i'll be sure to help you bye bye